in this video I'm going to talk to you about Facebook um, tabs so these things across the top of here I'm going to talk to you about them on Facebook pages and also on Facebook groups give you a bit of an idea of what some of them are how you can change them and um, how to use them especially with I've had some questions about guides and topics so I'm just going to cover kind of what they are and um, what they do and how they work as well so um, this is a page this is my build it brilliant page and as you can see the ones that I've got here there's two ways that you can access changing these so on Facebook pages you can go into more and then click edit tabs at the bottom that's one way or the other way is to go down this little um, bar at the side into settings and then you have one called templates and tabs both of those take you to this page it takes you to exactly the same place so um, there's some at the bottom here that you can have, have turned on and turned off. For one particular person I was working with this week, the um, people on their page couldn't see their reviews. So I asked them to check that this was switched on. Um, so that's one that you might want to check. And there's other ones down here that I could have if I wanted to have them on. So if you've been on pages and they've got some of these but yours don't, then this is where you would need to go in order to turn them on. The other thing you want to have a look at is the current template at the top. I'm currently on services. They usually recommend one. Originally I was on standard uh, and then I changed to services. And each one of these, if you look, they do have different buttons on the toolbars, different tabs, um, you know, just to... Uh, of what you can do so it's worth checking some of these and making sure that you have chosen a template that matches your business as well so that's another one I'm now going to go on to groups so I set up a group that is a demo group that I can play and mess with now let me go in here so as you can see in this group I've got uh, about discussion guides members events and files um, this here we will if you want to change it down here again in settings and this time it's just in the middle so this is on a Facebook group so if you go down here you've got group type and then you've also got some extra features so you here I've got guides and I could remove them or host a Q&A you can put that on and off um, and all sorts of different settings but it's the group type that we want to look at on here I've got it set to general and in here, again, it's like the other one, we have different options. The social learning one has the guides in it. So let's choose that one um, and show you what guides and topics are. I switched on. So I'm going to go home on this group. So it's a way of organizing your content and checking if people are looking at it. So. Uh, you can have files so earlier on I made this particular post which is the circle of concern one and what happens is in files it just gives you a list of all the files but they won't be in any kind of alphabetical order or subject order or anything like that so what guides does is gives you an ability to organize your content so in guides if you haven't already I'm going to delete this one just to show you what it's like and then refresh the page so when you don't you start off you won't have any so you need to add your modules so if I call this module one getting started um, all the tools you need to get started all in one place save I will now have that as a guide okay Go back to the group so say i now wanted to add that circle of concern pdf into that guide to organize the content i'd click these dots and add post to guide and choose module one getting started give it a title save so now in the guide we have got the post circle of concern and you can see whether you've completed it and those sorts of things you've got an option to create a quiz so it's a great way of organizing the content but you need to post it on on the group first and then add it to a guide the other thing that you can do is add a topic 
so here we can edit the post topic because I've already done it um, and I've given it a topic of tools you can you can call it whatever you want add a topic in for that particular post and again it's a way of just referencing your content so that people can see it you'll have a popular topics bit over here and I'm in as the admin so it looks a little bit different but if I was in normally there'd be a topics option on the top and then people can search by topic um, and I can edit post topics so if you want to set some post topics I've got tools uh, and then I can create and I can create some topics which means then that people can search that content a little bit easier than just having it all on the newsfeed or all in one place again this is Facebook groups so I hope that helps in terms of where to find the settings for changing this toolbar in both pages and groups and also how you can use guides and topics in order to organise your group content.